Hello artists, how are you doing today? I hope you're all doing really well. We have a special project we're gonna work on today. And when I say special, I mean that it's, the project is special and then the people who we're making this for are very special. We have students in our district that are seniors in high school this year. So that means that at the end of May, they're gonna be done with school and then they're gonna be graduating and we really want to celebrate them. We want to make something very special so that they know how special they are. It's a big deal to go all the way from kindergarten all the way through elementary school and then middle school and then all the way through high school. This is a big deal. And this hasn't been an easy time for our students. It's been hard. We've been going through a pandemic. So this has been a very challenging year. And we wanna make sure that they feel loved and recognized and that they know that we're excited for all the special things that are gonna come in the future for them. So our project that we're gonna work on is we're gonna be making a small poster and the posters are gonna be collected and then they're gonna be, I'm gonna take them over to our high school and they're gonna be hung up in the halls at the high school so that all of the graduating students can see them. It's pretty exciting. So we get to make something special and it's gonna be a gift. We're gonna use our artwork as a gift to the seniors that are graduating. So these are a couple examples that I made. This is one that says, congratulations, class of 2021. I'm so proud of all of you, way to go. And this is one that says, we are proud of you. And it has lots and lots of hearts and it has a couple different graduates on it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to draw a person, but you can draw your person any way you want. And you are gonna be adding the cap or mortarboard, we also call it, and gown, and we can add a little diploma, and can add lots of other things to our designs. Hearts, stars, balloons, rainbows, anything you can think of that would make it feel very much like a celebration. So we're gonna get started, and when you're all done with this, you are going to need to turn it in to your teacher at school. So, for those of you who are virtual students, on the very, very next virtual supply day, you need to turn it in. Um, I know for our for PADOC, that's coming up next um, on the 22nd. I think it's on Earth Day. I'm not sure yet about the one for Simons. The um, Everyone else, if you're a hybrid student, you need to take your drawing in to your teacher and ask your teacher if they can put it in my mailbox. I will be coming up to school and collecting them. And I'm gonna be coming up in May, I think it's May 7th, very early in the month. So as soon as you have this done and can get it to my mailbox, the better. All right, are we ready? Let's go. To start making our poster, for our graduates, we're gonna need to think of what we want to say on it. These are some phrases that you could use on your poster. You do not need to use all four of them, just pick one. Or if you have another idea, you can use that as well. The first one in blue says, congratulations class of 2021. The second one says, we are proud of you. The third one says, well done, 2021. And the fourth one says, way to go. So go ahead and pick one of those. And you're going to want to either write that on the very top of your paper or on the very bottom. We want to leave room in the middle so that we can add some drawings. What you can do too is you can pause the video for a moment if you need to look at the spelling and then you can write down whichever one you want to use.
Now I'm going to show you how you can draw a picture of a graduate or a person graduating from high school. We're going to start by drawing the person's head and we're just going to use a shape like a U. And you want to leave space under your words so that we can add their hat or it's also called a mortarboard. Okay, so I started with a shape that's kind of like an upside down rainbow or like the letter U. And then we're gonna add the person's eyes. So we're gonna draw two circles. We're gonna add a little circle inside for the light reflecting off their eyes. And you can use your pencil and you can neatly color in around that tiny little circle. If you want, you can give your person eyelashes. And you could also give them little eyebrows. We're gonna add a little nose. I'm just gonna draw a little oval. And then we're gonna add their mouth and they're really excited. So we're gonna make their mouth open. So we're gonna draw a little line with a U underneath and then their tongue. And you can color in the inside of the mouth with your pencil. On top, up here, we're gonna make their mortarboard or their hat. So you're gonna draw a straight, or a, not straight, but it can be a little curvy. If it's straight, it's okay. And then we're gonna draw two lines up like this and a line that goes up just a little bit, curves up a little bit. And then on this side, it's gonna go up on a diagonal. This side, it's gonna go up on a diagonal. And then they're gonna meet in the middle. So we're gonna draw a line straight, or on a diagonal this way. And then we're gonna also draw a line on a diagonal this way. And then we can add a tassel. What happens is at graduation, when the graduates are, they are done and they actually graduate, they take the tassel and they move it from one side to the other. And that is symbolic of them graduating. So you can go ahead and draw a tassel. And what that is, is it usually hangs from the top, but in it would be on top where we wouldn't see it. And it would be hanging down on the side and then it's just a little bit of fringe. So it's like a circle with little lines coming down like that. Now, we didn't add any hair and we didn't add any ears yet. So let's do that. Let's add little ears. And then you can add some hair. Um, however you wanna do the hair is fine. If you wanna make the person have long hair, you can. If you want them to have short hair, they can medium hair, curly hair, braided hair, whatever you would like. I think I might, I might give my person braids, let's see. And to do braids, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of do curvy lines like this. And it will kind of look like hair that's been braided. but you could do any kind of hair. And then we're gonna draw their body underneath. Now, if for some reason, if let's say you drew this pretty big and now you don't have room for the body, don't worry about it. You can have your poster with just the graduate's face on it, that's okay. But if you have room, we're gonna draw a little letter V and then we're gonna bring that down a little bit more like that, so now it looks kind of like a Y.
and then we're going to draw a line down on this side and this side. I might even make that little tiny bit wider. There we go. And we're going to curve it at the bottom. And we're going to draw a line that goes across this way. We're going to draw a sleeve on this side, which is a line down and over to the body. And we'll add a little hand. We'll draw a line down and over to the body. And we'll draw a little hand. And we'll draw two little feet at the bottom. And we're going to give our person a diploma. So a diploma is the paper that a graduate gets when they graduate from high school or from college. And it has their name on it. And it, it says the school that they graduated from, that they finished all their schooling in. So we're going to draw it by drawing a line. And we're going to draw a swirly line on the end. So it looks like the paper's rolled up. And then we're just gonna draw another line underneath it. And that's how we draw our graduate. We can add other things to our poster as well. So you can add different designs. Maybe you want balloons. Maybe you want rainbows or stars. Maybe you have other ideas. Maybe you want splashes of color in the background. Whatever you want to add, you can. It's up to you. So I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add some balloons maybe. So I'm gonna draw a curvy line like this. And if you don't wanna do balloons, you don't have to do balloons. And I'm gonna draw another balloon behind it. So I had it, I stopped, I didn't draw on top of that one. So now it looks like that one's behind. I'm gonna pretend this one is behind that one. And I'm gonna draw the bottom of the balloon. And then I could even have her holding balloons, couldn't I? I could have them go all, the strings go all the way over to her hand. Or if you wanna draw stars, let me show you. You can, we could draw two lines up two lines across, two lines back down, two lines out, and two lines back up. You could add stars. You could add other things like I mentioned just a minute ago, like a rainbow or hearts. Whatever you wanna add will be great. You could make a frame around the edges, like if you want to um, make some, I don't know, I'm trying to think. I could make like a, almost, mm, I don't know if I like that. I could put stars around the edges. Um, I could make it almost like a picture frame. Whatever you want to do to kind of finish it off is fine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to really color this in. We're going to use markers or crayons or colored pencils, whatever you have at home. And down before we color it, down here on the bottom, you can write your name. I'm gonna write my name, but you're gonna write your name so that the students at the high school know who made their picture for them. If you know a graduate at the high school, you could even include their name somewhere on it. Maybe you have an older brother or sister who's graduating, or maybe you have a neighbor that's graduating. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trace my lines. Now, 
oftentimes caps and gowns are black, um, but not always. Sometimes they're different colors depending on the school. So you can decide how you want to do yours. And I'm probably going to use a combination of markers and crayons for mine. Just because it's what I have here. And you are using whatever you have at home. Um, I might color that in so it just looks a little tiny bit different. I might, or I might color it in with a crayon, I mean, just so you can kind of tell the difference between the two. Oh. You can make the tassel any color you want. And usually the diplomas are white, so I'm just gonna kind of outline it there. Um, and I might use black to color in this part, or a black crayon rather, to color that part. And you can color in the face with any skin tone that you want. It's up to you. Uh, I think before I do that, I might, I think I might make the eyes just a little darker with a black marker. I think I'll trace eyebrows too. There we go. you can make your student have any color of skin, lighter brown, darker brown. So we have, oops, we have lots and lots and lots of students at the high school. So we want them, we want everybody to know that we are excited for them and have everybody represented. And color that in, and then let's see. Make draw or might color her hair. Kind of trace it first. As you're working, make sure you are tracing and coloring all the different parts of your picture so it really stands out. And I'm gonna pause the video for a moment and I'm gonna finish coloring mine while you finish coloring yours. 
I have most of my picture colored, but I haven't colored the frame yet, and I don't wanna leave it just plain. I'm gonna kinda jazz it up a little bit. So however you decide you wanna decorate your edges is fine. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is kinda trace over my line here. And I could color in the whole frame if I wanted to. Um, I think what I might do is just have some fun with some polka dots. But you can certainly design it however you want. So I'm gonna just kinda draw little dots. I know it's probably hard to see the yellow, but that's okay. And add a few more. And then I'm gonna add a red. We want to make these posters super special, don't we? Make our graduates know how proud of them we are and that we're excited for them. Let's see, I use red and yellow. Maybe I'll use rainbow colors. There's some orange. Now, if you wanted to, you could even add more than one graduate. You could have a group of graduates. You could have two graduates who are maybe their best friends and they're graduating. Whatever you want to add, you can add to it. Or if there's other things you want to write in the little spaces, you could write things like, we love you, or way to go, so proud of you. Little messages like that would be great. That'll make them feel really special and remembered. And I think I'm gonna add a little blue and purple too. Just a little bit. Makes me think of confetti. Have you ever seen somebody throw confetti or put confetti out for a party? Like all the little dots make me think of that. Very, very fun and festive. All right. So since I do have space here and here, I think I am gonna write a little message. I'm gonna put, maybe I'll, I'll write, Way to go on this side. Way to go. And I am so proud of all of you. Or whatever other special message you want to add. This is another little poster that I made because I wanted to show you how it's definitely fine whatever phrase you used at the top. And I mentioned that you could draw a couple graduates if you had space. So I just wanted to show you that that's something I tried with this one. And I can still color it in and I can still add my details or change the background. It doesn't have to look like the other one that I drew. I could, let's say I finished coloring these. I know I didn't finish them yet, but let's pretend I did. Um, I can add other things in the background. Like maybe I want it to look like, uh, maybe I want hearts around it. I could practice drawing my hearts. Remember, it's kind of like a candy cane and then a backwards candy cane. Boom, like that. 
so I could practice drawing that. Hearts all on the sides, maybe. Or I could do rainbow colored hearts, that would be fun. some hearts up top too since they'll kind of fit and then maybe I'll even do some little lines around the hearts just to kind of show that I'm so excited and happy for them And there's the other one. When you're all done with your project, you're gonna have everything colored in um, that needs to be colored in. So make sure your graduates are colored in and make sure you have lots of fun things in the background. Remember, you need to turn this into your teacher. Um, I would love to see a picture of it here too. So take a picture turn that picture in, but then take the actual drawing to school and give it to your teacher. And if you're a virtual student, please take it to up to school on your virtual pickup day. Or if you happen to be in the area near your school, you can go ahead and drop it off at the office and they will make sure it gets to my mailbox. Thank you so much. They're gonna be so excited to see all of your wonderful drawings. See you next time.